promise made or promise broken so far. But Broken because now retired miners are just days away from losing their health care benefits. And President Trump, who promised to take care of them, has remained silent on the issue. Donald Trump has said that he would he would work to protect the, the miners. Do you feel as though the president has your back? No, absolutely not. Retired miners like Joe Reynolds and the others say they agreed to work in these mines partly because they were told they'd get health care for life. But those government-funded benefits will run out at the end of this month for 22,000 retired miners, unless Congress acts. One option, the Miners Protection Act, would secure lifelong health benefits and pension. Last year, Congress voted to extend health benefits only for four months. Back in 1946, miners cut a deal with the federal government. It's often called the promise. Miners agreed to work in the mines at least 20 years, and in exchange, the federal government promised to provide pension and health care benefits to the miners and their families for life. From the cradle to the grave is what, what the, the phrase was that, that, that they promised to uh, for our health care and our pension benefits. The fund for health benefits dried up over the years as coal mining companies filed for bankruptcy and stopped paying into it. But what we need as United Mine Workers is a permanent fix and we need it now where it's a short end of the fuse. Time's running out. So, Donald, if you're listening, uh, I believe you were being sincere when you made a statement that you were for uh, the miners. So let's get something done. We shared the miners' complaints with the White House, which told us the administration is actively working with the Congress to address this matter, adding, it is the subject of sensitive, ongoing negotiations. How much will you have to struggle if you lose your benefits? I have health issues. In fact, I've got Crohn's disease and uh, other maintenance things that I need, and my drug cost would be more than what I bring in a month now. If I lose my health benefits, I'm hurt. I'm one hospital stay away from, if I have no insurance, from losing a home or wondering where my next meal's coming from or worried about my loved ones, how I'm going to take care of them. You know, and I feel like I have worked hard for this. They promised me this. All of these miners have health issues, and to a person, say, they can't afford private insurance if their benefits dry up. Some miners have said, you know, this feels like a slap in the face, that they're oh, not yeah, being taken care of. you agree? Oh, absolutely. It's worse than a slap in the face to me. It's absolutely just sticking a dagger in you. Still, critics argue if Congress bails out coal miners, then Congress will have to bail out everyone else facing the loss of benefits, like truckers. So be it, says this group. That promise was in the, in the contract that was made that we were supplying the coal that powered this country and fueled this country and through wars and, and everything else that a lot of us served in. A promise for life that's turned into a lot less.